Quarter Scale Grave Digger Part 22D. Well, I got the engine back with the new carburetors installed. Engine builder did a, a valve adjustment for me and tuned it up. He also said that it was idling rather high, so he took care of that as well. So I'm anxious to get it running again. Got the new exhaust bolted on, and I've got the the permanent engine mounts welded in place. There's that plate for the rear mount bolted on, and the front engine mount up there with the aluminum shaft going up. Got the oil tank repositioned in a better location, I think. It sets higher, so now the oil flow will flow down and into the oil pump much better than where it was before. So here's the pickup. There's the bottom of the oil tank, so it goes through the oil filter. And then you can see it going to the oil pump. And any of you read some of my comments on the previous video, I kind of burned up my brake servo. So now I've got a different one that actually puts out a little more torque. A little smaller, so it works good for the brakes. So now this is brake only. And then below the platform, behind the driver's seat, there's the throttle servo. And there's that servo horn that I use as a pivot. So right now the engine's ready to go. I just got to fill it up with water, put the oil in, put the gas in, but I don't want to do that until I can move it outside on a day when hopefully it's going to be 40 degrees or better. But otherwise I've got everything ready to go. So until then, I thought I'd show you a preview of some of my, or at least one of my future projects. I've made a comment that my next project I'd like to do is an 8 scale sprint car. So there's a 1 24th scale sprint car that I used as a template. And for those of you that like to make comments on scale, here's a 1 24th scale sprint car next to a quarter scale monster truck. Anyway, so let's move this over. So here's a 1 8 scale sprint car. And I wanted to make it like the model there instead of a aftermarket kit that you can usually find that has A arms front and rear. When was the last time you saw a sprint car with A arms? So this is quarter inch brass soldered together. And there's the Jacobs ladder that mounts the rear axle to. Got the front axle with the links tied to the chassis. And inside that plastic Parma Chevy engine, plastic model. is where the electric motor is. So that aluminum shaft there will drive the, the rear axle. So hopefully if the weather holds up tomorrow I'll be firing this puppy up. Can you guess what that's for?
to be continued.